Now in this video we're going to make a uh, simple demonstration AND gate circuit. We, in this video series, used the uh, switch and transistor before. Now we're just going to go right to the integrated circuit, which is the best option. It's the uh, 7400 series 08. So 7408 integrated circuit, they come in different versions. We're going to use the high speed CMOS version, which is probably the most common right there. But in any case, it's a quad, there's four AND gates and each one of them has two inputs right there. So there's other AND gate integrated circuits with different numbers of inputs, but there's gotta be at least two and that's the most common. The basic property of the AND gate as told by the true table is that if any or all inputs are low, then the output will be low. So the output is digital and so that means that it'll either be connected to ground zero volts that's when it's low there or as close to the positive supply as it can get and uh, that'll be one so that's as close to five volts as it can get we need both inputs to be high for the output to be high that means in this case we need to press the switch to give a direct connection to five volts right there when it comes to the trim pot it's a little more uh, tricky so if we set it about halfway, it may be in either state. It may be even in the middle ground where it's kind of indeterminate. You go just a little bit lower or all the way down to zero volts, then we have a low input and uh, the output will be low no matter what. If we go above halfway and we have a high input there, then that'll set the output high. So we need more than about 2.5 volts, but we need to get closer to the positive five volts right there. So both high inputs will lead to a high output. We are just going to use this AND gate right here and these other AND gates, the inputs you'll see we tie either to the positive supply or to the negative supply ground. We have to power the integrated circuit, pin 14 is the positive supply, VCC, and pin 7 down here is ground right there. And since we're working with 5 volts, our output at uh, pin 3 is going to have a protective resistor and an LED. It's going to be 220 ohms because we're working with 5 volts. And so here is our circuit on the board. We got pin 14 to the positive supply and pin 7 down to the negative supply. You can see a little jumper there and then a little longer jumper there. That's the two inputs for that AND gate. We can leave the output floating and then we uh, are putting directly to ground the two inputs there. That helps keep the transistor from uh, oscillating internally and wasting energy. And so we got the other two inputs right there going to the positive supply and then Pin 3 is our output, we got our load, 220 ohm resistor, LED long lead there, short lead down there, and then our trim pot right there, we got to power it of course, the two supplies and then this little jumper comes to pin 2. Now we have the switch, we have our pull down resistor, uh, 10 kilo ohms, keep 0 volts until we close the switch. Now this switch, the power's off right now, this switch, I don't usually put it in this spot, so it's kind of getting rejected, but uh, that's one thing with uh, these nice boards, they kind of reject these, but over time they'll start accepting them a little better in a particular spot. So now we need to turn the power on and nothing's happening. We press the switch, that trim pot is turned down to too low of a voltage. We'll go up more than halfway there and now you can see that uh, the LED turns on. So we will zoom in a little closer, we have to have the arrow closer towards the positive supply and we have to push the button. Now what I'm going to do is turn it down. We're going to get about halfway and we're going to see since it's not a Schmidt trigger, Schmidt triggers you get a distinct uh, change. You can see it kind of fades right there. So it's kind of a middle ground. That's not really desired but uh, that's something you got to deal with if you don't have a Schmidt trigger. So in any case maybe you're okay with that. But uh, that's really it for this circuit. Pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watch as many videos. Helps out a ton too. I got links down in the description for everything. I will see you in the next video.